now i am going to discuss about the fast round table conference the british prime minister ramsay macdonald organized a conference at london in 1930 to discuss certain constitutional issues related to india it was known as the round table conference the different political parties in india and the rulers of the princely states sent their representative to attend the conference however indian national congress did not participate in this conference the national congress was a body that represented the country without the congress the deliberations in the round table conference were indeed meaningless the british prime minister expressed a hope that the congress would join the second round of discussions in view of the british prime minister ministers appel the viceroy of india released gandhi ji and other leaders from the prison thus a conducive atmosphere was created for the congress to discuss issues freely so children representatives of different political parties and rulers of princely states participated in the conference there were discussion on responsible government at the center establishment of federal state in india etc dr baba saheb ambedkar uh, barrister jinha sir Uh, sapru attended the conference the indian national congress which was a body that represented the country didn't participate so the deliberation in the conference were meaningless children here i want to discuss about gandhi arvin pact a pact was concluded between mahatma gandhi and the viceroy arvin it is known as the gandhi arvin pact according to this pact the british government gave a guarantee that the system of responsible government would be adopted in the proposed constitution for india the congress withdrew the civil disobedience movement and showed its readiness to participate in the second round table conference so children in view of the appeal of the prime minister the viceroy released gandhi ji and other political leaders from prison in this conducive atmosphere a pact was signed between gandhi ji and viceroy arvin according to the pact the british government gave an assurance of providing responsible government in the proposed constitution of india so congress agreed to suspend the civil disobedience movement and participated in the second round table conference children the second round table conference was held in 1931 gandhi ji participated as the representative of the india national congress and dr ambedkar at as representative of the lits the representatives of the other political parties 
various castes and communities and the princely states were also participated issues of minority representation and federal constitution were discussed however no consensus could be reached and gandhi ji was not successful in bringing unanimity so he returned to india disappointed so children the second round table conference was held in 1931 gandhi ji attended the conference as the representative of indian national congress along with the congress the british government had also invited representatives of the various caste communities political parties and of the princely states the government raised the issues of minorities in this conference there were differences of opinion among the representative on this issue as also on the nature of the federal constitution gandhi ji tried to secure a consensus but his if efforts proved to be futile therefore gandhi ji returned to india disappointed children dr ambedkar had demanded separate electorates for the dalits in the round table conference so the british prime minister ramsay macdonald declared communal awards which granted separate electorate for to the dalits after his return from the second round table conference Gandhi ji decided to revive the civil disobedience movement because he was totally disappointed he was immediately arrested by the government and put into yarada jail he was against the granting of separate electorate on the basis of caste so he started fast unto death in yarada jail the leaders of indian national congress requested dr ambedkar to reconsider his demand by keeping the interest of the nation in mind he agreed he signed the pune pact with gandhi ji in 1932 the pact provided for reserved seats instead of separate electorates for the dalits so children dr baba saheb ambedkar represented dalits in the round table conference he demanded separate electorates for the dalits After the second round table conference the British Prime Minister Ramsay Macdonald declared communal awards according to it the elites were given separate electorate but Gandhi ji went on fast and to death at Yarada jail protesting against the granting of separate electorate on the basis of caste The leaders of Indian National Congress requested Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar to reconsider the demand for separate electorate keeping in mind the interest of the nation Dr Ambedkar was ready to accept this request in 1932 Mahatma Gandhi and Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar signed the famous Pune Pact according to this pact separate electorate for the dalits were cancelled and the provision for reserved seats were made so children 
here i have told you about the first round table conference gandhi arvin pact second round table conference and pune pact also you came to know about the sacrifices of babu jenu and what is known as round table conference now the next part of the topic i will discuss that is third round table conference